waves because I don't see them making aggressive plays very well here on the side of Entity. I think that this Monkey King needs to be a complete and utter nuisance and try and ruin this game as much as possible with his dumb shenanigans. I, I assume that's the plan. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going like, to have to agree with his voice line if this was over before it started um, <laughs> on the side of Kataomi. But unfortunately, maybe not the way he's hoping. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Like, just having a few more seconds to think about this. Entity have a draft that wants the map to be flipped. Right? They want to be, like, cutting waves on... The, they want to be... On, they, Dyer wants to be playing Radiant side of the map. Monkey King behind enemy lines. Putt cutting waves, farming some jungle that's deep. Terrorblade with illusions making the map difficult to play, have some, you know, difficult terrain to traverse. Okay, uh, enough. Oh, yeah, Katomi. Um, he's been pinged. He's been spotted. Oh, they caught him doing the ward shenanigans? Yeah. Swoops. I saw him. Oopsie doopsie. I guess he wasn't in the right spot where the... Because you can place the... I think where he placed it, I don't know if you can actually place the ward there without being spotted by the uh, the base vision. Yeah, he went right up close to it. I think you got to tuck yourself by the tree. Yeah. He was in banana mode. They, they spotted the peel on the floor. Yeah, it's one of those weird things where we've had a few games like this in Eastern Europe where there's a team that legitimately wants to avoid, not entertain any kind of engagement or fight for 30 or 40 minutes. And I think that's what Entity, or the situation Entity finds himself in now. It's get TB to minute 40. And hopefully then we, you know, kind of bypass the alchemist power spike with his acceleration. The DP's fallen flat a little bit. We've got Centaur, a scaling Monkey King with, you know, his Orchid or whatever the hell he's going to build. Delay tactics from Entity. But maybe, maybe laning stage will go well. We'll pull something out of the bag here. Yeah, and surprise I mean, us all. Uh, there have been plenty of drafts where I've thought the team looked a lot worse and then suddenly the lanes are a disaster and everything's fine. So Game, that, game one example. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, you know, maybe they hunt down pure a couple times, right? Like, this is a very vulnerable part of the map when it is a puck. Uh, maybe the Bane gets off a decent enough start that you have some damage in there with the Brain Sap, too, where he's, like, rotating in with the puck, and they, they get a couple kills on the Alk, get some good vision down. That could happen. But overall, a stable and even-looking game certainly, to me, feels like it's going to be favoring Tundra quite hard. Mm -hmm. And what what is it that Wise Man said? When there's an Alk in the game, it's an Alk game? Sounds pretty wise. You gotta do something to stop him. Because it's you now we've seen a fair amount of alchemists just have free times. You know, they die once in lane, but then outside of that, what we've had like 12, 13 minute radiances come up and just crush the competition. And currently, Monkey King not playing the lane. Looks like he's gonna try and go for some courier snipes. Sees one of them. Oh, oh, oh we there we go. He got the sentry block on the camp at the same time, so he probably got caught up. I'm trying to do too many things at once, but two courier snipes. <laughs> Camp blocked. Kataomi already winning. He's winning. Uh, all right. Well, well done. That was good. Next objective. <laughs> where's, where's the next courier, boys? DM's wondering where his support went. This is the pause to try and find out. He's being harassed back by White Mons Disruptor. Yeah, why am I 1v2ing in this lane? What the hell's going on? Did you see that clip? I think it was um, Force on Na'Vi who might have done it, where he, he got glimpsed, or he was in a static storm stuck on Timbersaw and he pushed himself out with the tree branch. No, So you, I didn't. you know how, like, if you're trapped on kinetic field, you can, like, yeah. there were ways to, like, push yourself out with branches and stuff. Someone did it yesterday. I think it was yesterday in the pro game. I think it was the Na'Vi VP series in the best of five, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But, That's really uh, cool. I wonder if some of the other players saw that and were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to remember to do that. Because it is a nifty little treat, uh, trick. I just tree push myself out. Yeah. Just clip out of bounds. That's one of the, one of the speedrun tactics. Well, the other lanes... Uh, we always find ourselves in a situation, you know, there's something funny going on. One of the lanes gets all the attention. We can ignore bottom for a little bit. Watson Fishman up top. TB and Bane against a tiny DP. This feels like it should be tiny DP running away with it. And Fishman can trade nicely into the tiny, but I don't know. Once this offlane from the Radiant hits level two, level three, they're outputting a lot of damage. And you've got this toss back into Creep Wave, which can do a hell of a lot. Oh, my bad. Sorry, it was the it was Mouse. That's who Force plays for. My bad. Uh, it was Mouse versus Entity, actually. No, no wonder, because who else is picking Disruptor? Uh, yeah. So. <laughs>
And then in that mid lane, Topson 7-2. No one. 9 and 1. Looks pretty even there so far. In Puck and Void Spirit, they have that kind of back and forth in terms of who counters whom, what, what what's going on there. How, how do you feel about this matchup nowadays? I think in general it is more Void Spirit favored than it was back in like Arlington was the big time when everyone was counterpicking like crazy as Fishman gets a little low, but it's fine. Uh, now, I mean, further nerfs have occurred to Puck since then. So... Mm. It just feels like it's even better now um, for the Void Spirit. But yes, the, the, the way that it swings back, like theoretically, it's supposed to be a win for the... <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. It's supposed to be a win for the Void Spirit in lane, but that's... Not, assuming a Monkey King isn't sniping your couriers. I mean, this is what you have to do. This is what we're talking about in the lane wins. This is how you upset the balance of what I think should be bad for them. Uh, absolutely stupid shenanigans like this. Well, Bane's dying top. First blood for nine class. That's where this tempo from the offlane starts to pick up. I don't have any toss back or anything. Just going to try and chip away at Watson with DP's ranged right clicks. I'm, uh, I'm keeping, my, keeping my eyes on this Monkey King, though, because he, so he went mid, got a courier snipe. There's another courier for yeah, the disruptor. Yeah, the word bottom as well. He's microing Disruptor's Courier all the way through that bottom jungle. <laughs> what can it go? That's impressive. I, I haven't seen that very often with the walking couriers. Screw you, Monkey King. Yeah, he's like, I'm not giving it up this time. Uh, There's a lot of pings. A lot of vision, a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff needed to figure out where this Monkey King's heading as he goes they, back they into the mid. They know he's coming mid. On top, what is he? 250 HP. Primal Spring into Illusory Orb. Waning Rift as well, maybe. No one under tower. The turnaround from Topson. Oh my god, it's close. White Mon's going to arrive with a Blood Grenade and the damage on no one. Picks up the first kill. Kata Omi's on the tree tops. It looks like yeah, he will be safe. So at least a trade there. And that one for one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess that favors Puck. In a sense. I mean, Disruptor gets the kill on one side, but you're getting the kill on your mid hero, so you're kind of yeah. happy about it. Toss back. Up at top. Yeah, Watson's a tanky fella. A lot of armor. Still had eight stick charges. And the salve to fall back on. Yeah, much like last game where we never talked about top, we're kind of in that situation again. It's been pretty quiet up here uh, overall. But uh, this is a Watson Terrorblade. Watson coming into the scene was praised like crazy. Nice nice kill there on the uh, treads from here. Uh, he was praised for his hard carry capabilities. That was his big thing. Like he, I mean, he's a Grandmaster TV player. This is definitely his kind of hero. He wants to be just like farming the entire game. And he, he has proven that he can win the late game if, if you take him there. So let's see if we do here again as they're targeting DM. The yeah, they get, yeah, they turn it, get back onto White Mon's Disruptor. Pure has another concoction in a second, but he would, he would need another hero here to come and help out. Katomi and DM both pretty low. No one's arriving. Everyone's stuck in their lanes. Thompson's too low in that mid. Wants to try and hit level 6 before he really rotates. So it's just down to Pure to do what he can on his own. He also has no uh, raindrops right now on Thompson. So theoretically, like the level 6 came up soon on no one. But he does get filled up by a bottle refill from White Maw. So that's going to help a lot. Because he, he was kind of low and I was worried that like Monkey King's going to come back in and rotate. But he's rotating top instead. They're going to jump onto Toby. And he's looking real dead. Yeah, get the kill on that DP. Alleviate the pressure that Watson was feeling. No one in that mid lane has a, a grenade and a thunderstrike thrown at him, but he has survived perfectly. Okay, himself. And that was the cost. Like, they went mid to try and get this kill onto no one and slow down his game, but they end up losing Toby because of it. Because Nine Class isn't there to help protect with an avalanche or a toss or something. And now Nine Class kind of low in the river. I think he might just be dead because Monkey's coming from behind as well. Man, and Topson's trying with this Dissimilate and Remnant, but misses. The Aether Remnant there. Nine class with the Avalanche Toss. Gives him a little bit of space. Blood Grenade into Nightmare. White Mon's arriving, but there's nothing to turn this. Six minute rune at least is going to go to Topson. Double damage bottled up. Pretty big one there, but yeah, he's still level five. Puck is about to hit six. But they're so low on resources. I don't know if they have anything for a kill here, even off a of Dream Coil. Two points in the Resonant Pulse. I feel like it's time to just go somewhere else. Uh, he's going to hunt for potentially another courier, but yeah, it's going to be too fast. <laughs> courier mid, though. As well as a potential wisdom rune steal here from Fishman, as he is a bane. 
Oh yeah, the automatic win on it. Nine class hiding. Can he get the avalanche toss oh, he timing? He hasn't seen him yet. Oh, hello there, nightmare. Avalanche toss. Toby coming, but <laughs> Fishman, along with DM, get the two wisdom runes. Dude, let him go, Kato. We let him go, man. Why is he <laughs> just leave your captain to die? Hey, he was going back to ancients to try and yeah. uh, deny himself, but not to be. I'm surprised he didn't just run in them right away. He thought there was a chance. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a, a fair amount of noise from Entity. You're being annoying with the supports. But Topson now is starting to unlock his potential. DD Rune, a lot of damage onto no one. Could have him transition into one of these side lanes and get some kills. But I think it's just pure Alchemist okay. is, is starting to run away with this now. Until he walks his courier directly into DM. He's <laughs> just standing uh. there cutting the wave. <laughs> it's not even Cat Omi getting it this time. He just The courier just went right into him. This is one of your bugbears, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pro players and courier micro. Oh, hang on a second. I mean, I don't blame them. They, yeah, they had a decade where they it wasn't that much that you could do. Topson has nine classes help with a huge tiny combo. Massive damage onto them. Topson will jump with the actual step onto Kataomi. Damage will come. Gets the kill on the Monkey King. Now White Mon a nine class. They've got a hasted disruptor. Running down the bane. Fishman glimpsed across to the left. Dragged into the waiting arms of Topson, who takes the double kill. And not much there that no one could do. I actually think that pro players losing their careers all the time is an excellent sign for the game because it truly shows that Dota takes everything. Like it, it takes all your brain capacity <laughs> for every second that you're playing. I'm serious. Yeah. Like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if these professional players I can lose their career like that, it's because they're thinking about so many other things in the game that their career, like walking into a guy who's clear, like they know he's there. He just forgot where his career was for two seconds. You just lose it. It's great. And Kyle, Another career gone. Oh, Toby. It's... <laughs> <laughs> This I has been a bloodbath for couriers, this game. Oh, it has. I thought you were going a different direction with that. Dota, Dota takes everything from you. You know, it takes your life, takes your sanity, no. takes your the women and children and the, the, the couriers, too. No, I think it just shows how hard this damn game is. Yeah, it's bandwidth good. wise, Dota is like, it ab absorbs everything. I need to get Neuralink for more RAM. And I won't forget my courier is. <laughs> I am not implanting a <laughs> Dota 2 chip. You don't want a Gen 1 brain. Neuralink? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Two man coil. Nightmare on the disruptor, though. A little bit messy. Two support kills should be coming the way of Entity here, though, as they gather up as five. Oh, thank you. Defending top tier one. And uh, yeah, thank you, DM. Straight back down to farming a bottom lane, huh? That That's a tip. You got a tip when that happens. Like, that was the dream. You go up, you get the kill, you get sent back immediately down to the bottom lane that Pure was pushing. Pure's like, are you serious? I didn't, I didn't want this guy here. Why is there a centaur back in my lane? What, what, what's he bought? Oh, DM's gone on the blade mail build. Okay. I was wondering what he spent his money on. Blade mail centaur. So this was more of a... I think we, we interviewed Amar a little while back. Maybe 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 three months ago or so. And he said, yeah, it just feels good to, to have blade mail on Centaur because Max retaliate with blade mail. I farm ancient stacks. I get big. So this feels like a delay the game, get big for entity game plan still. Yeah, it's got some value versus some of the other heroes too, like Tiny, Void Spirit, you know. They, they want to like burst you down. You can maybe help uh, reduce that a little bit here. The sounds is there mm. for the jump in, but it's five seconds still coil. He spent both of his astral steps like aggressively. I think he was trying to get vision to see who was behind the puck and then jumped away. So he knows exactly what's coming his way. Exorcism push up top here, though. Now, Watson's going to rotate over, but it's a scary proposition. They have a puck, though, of course. So there is TP Dream Coil if they feel like they can make it happen. No metamorphosis, though. Nine class trying to wrap around behind. Oh, pure, pure. coming behind. He's also arrived. Watson, who can try and sunder here. Half HP, waiting rift helping out. Watson with a oh, sunder turns this? back on pure. Now the stampede, the two man coil, DP tiny caught up in the stuns. Toby down, pure on the run. Nine class being hounded by three members of Entity now. Another great response and reaction from the dire squad to yet again bring five heroes top. Defend the tier one, defend the TB. They'll lose the Fishman Bane for now. Monkey King back in again, though. Topson aggressively diving on Kataomi. Static Storm's good to stop the Boundless Strike. Oh, nice play by no, no one. No one. Straight towards White Mon. DM falling low, but they've got the kill on Topson with a double kill for the Centaur. And now Pure. No Chemical Rage. No stun. 
and no life remaining soon. Terrorblade and Puck opening up on him. Toby's coming to try and help. Kato Omi's now the one actually on the run. Monkey King's got to get away. So Pure does survive through one charges and dread toggling. That was a long fight that we just had here, but it is a big win for the side of Enderly. Considering it was their tower being pushed and they'd make that rotation. Well, Fishman is now on to Toby here. Nine class is a bit too far to help. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's going to go down. Yeah, Metamorphosis comes back up. Oh, Gets the McKill dead. and Pure as well. Now the grip onto Thompson too. <laughs> Okie dokie. These fights from Entity in this top lane. Brutal stuff for Tundra. Oh no, dude, there's like, that was the unfailable concoction. He's like, I'm going to get somebody. There's four heroes here and he just gets boundless strike. Oh no. Oh, that was so unfortunate and also so funny. I, he was really close to his Radiance too, but he was just like, ah, you know, I can come back in. I can help out. Maybe we can get Toby saved. And all this coming from a, like that rotation where they're all trying to get Watson under the tower. Pure comes in from behind through the twin gate. And it was pinged up pretty early from DM. Like, he was ready for the response. And everyone just rotates that tower. They they just got a 5k lead over that that little instance. Like, we were even before that fight started. Yeah, and, uh, two we fights in a row in the same place. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay, well, they got a whew, foot off the gas right now for Tundra. They're, they're going to slow the hell down and start thinking about what items do we need. Like, this is your double Bracer Void Spirit losing fights. White Mon also pressured in his own jungle right now now this is exactly what you needed from entity this is my concern was they wouldn't get this but no one is hitting all the marks that i wanted them to hit he's four one and seven and thompson is he dead as well he's coiled and leashed up silenced by no one fishman gets the kill toby's now coming with an exorcism all jets scrambling here for tundra as they try and just clear some jungle space monkey king's taking up all the airspace leaping across the canopy and the sky jumping on people from up on high it's just uh, there's no room to breathe here. And they're going to have a blink on DM now, too, to complement that blade mail. It's almost done. That being said, the Radiance is finished up here for Pure. So that's going to make a big difference if he actually gets into these engagements. And is that a BKB rush next on no one? It is indeed. He recognizes the importance of these fights. And his presence in them. That's, I mean, his silences have been super clutch. He's always yeah. chaining them exactly after the last disable and getting every little bit of control that he can since the silences are just doing so much versus Thompson, obviously. Um, who's also trying to tank up a little bit here. The double bracer into the Ogre Axe as he moves towards that Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> a, a tree stalking White Mon here. <laughs> Poor fella. Just, they just grip him. Ah. Uh. They've got him here. Yeah, they've got him. And two supports finding a swift kill. Yeah, I think I think you're right. No, no one needs that BKB against Static Storm, against this Tiny. If fights can change so drastically with, you know, one little difference. Like, if Tiny with his Blink Dagger is able to see the puck, things get much more challenging for Entity to execute their lineup as they want to. It's such a hard call to make, though, as Thompson... In a bit of trouble here, though. He is slippery. And quite tanky. They've Ooh, got they the got stun. Him, though. He's out of mana. Stop the TP. Thompson, <laughs> the nightmare. Dodge on the centaur stomp. Maybe with a dissimilate. Hang oh, hang on a second. Bottle charges. Resonant pulse. Tanking up the shield. Dissimilate ready with an ether remnant to try and block out the centaur and monkey king. Down to the south. But the <laughs> DM stomp will come in the end. Alright, they tried their best to, to throw with the Nightmare Stomp, but eventually he will get locked down. Also a big deal stopping DP's tempo, right? She's a hero that we always talk about. Every EXO has got to get you a tower or a big team fight. She's used yeah. EXO, what, like three times to get top tier one? She used EXO once in the bottom jungle just defensively. And it's kind of been hard for Toby to get any traction on the map and, uh, and you know, play his own game. DP is like now part of the he, supporting cast. I, I like how he did a more balanced Monkey King style. Like, he did it on Couriers, but he wasn't as degen, you know, <laughs> as he picks up a Yules. Uh, he uses it on himself. Buy a little bit of time here to uh, maybe slip away from Toby. Try. Not going to happen. It's a cool idea because what he did was when he comes back down out of the Yules, he instantly mischiefs because there's a chance that the mischief will, like, block that one bit of damage and then you get the tree dance off. Yeah. But he wasn't quite able to get it. 
What is it? Three second damage cooldown, and it's 2.5 second cyclone. And yep. mischief is 0.2, but yeah, it's that one one instance, right? Yeah, so it's like while the projectile's in the air, you mischief, then maybe there's a chance if it's just attacks, but if you like layer with a spell, obviously it's a little bit easier as Fishman uh, tries to pick pull away. And pure shuts it down, though. White so the real shutdown with the static storm. They wanted that kill. I got it. Yeah, pure one, one, and one. Now top of the net worth, 17 minutes in. Alchemist you know, ideally wants to be a, a couple of grand ahead, but Terrorblade has had such a good time. Like Watson is five zero five because of all those fights, it's really centered around his lane, his top tier one. Yeah, and getting that Sunder off too, so he didn't die, and then he actually gets to be involved in all those kills was so huge for him. Tundra trying to get a bit of map space back. They've got this ward in the bottom jungle, but they're being... Well, they were being scouted. Yeah, that deep Dar Observer ward by the tier 2 mid sees them all coming. Like a conga line of Radiant Heroes just spotted by all this dire vision. And Even more place by... some more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's a BKB now. This is not necessarily the best time to fight. Oh, DM? Blade Mail's up. Tiny tries to jump in, but the silence on nine class. Thompson will get in on top of the Centaur and shred him, but they've lost the Tiny now. The leash clips Pure's Alk. Cyclone into the sky. This is this is pretty wild because Meta's been used. Exo used. Pure still going back in with a concoction. Chucks it in with Thompson arriving. Bane is their target. Trying to blow him up with a good static storm. Terrorblade now trapped inside as well. They need the focus onto Dude, Watson. The Rygl is coming. The Manta to run away. No! Can't turn and sunder. Attempted and tried, but not successful in the end. As no one's puck dances southwards. Katomi is the hero they'll chase instead. A missed remnant from Thompson. But they'll have the rundown on this Monkey King, it looks like. With the Spirit Siphons and another Crypt Swarm in one second. Toby can line it up and didn't even need it, but... Shows the monkey what for. Pure totally. made some really cool plays in that team fight, I have to say. Oh, nice uh, TP Number silence. one, he held his BKB forever. Nice silence and the TP out. Uh, he held his BKB the whole time. He didn't end up using it. Uh, the Radiants did tons of work in that fight. Also, the concoction, when he was chasing no one's puck the whole time, right? He knows that he has phase shift. So he throws the concoction down the river onto the bane because he was trying to make no one pop phase shift the second the concoction came out. Which I thought was really funny. No one somehow didn't fall for it. I can't believe that. If I'm that <laughs> puck and there's an, an Alk like a foot behind me, I'm definitely panic phase shifting the second the concoction's thrown. So that was really cool. But because of that concoction down to the river, they just like turn down and start chasing onto the bane. They get the static storm. And speaking of the static storm, looks like White Mom will finally be punished uh, after that team fight finally ends. But it's a, he had a great ulti, but he didn't uh, particularly enjoy his company. So we'll take him down. Uh, yeah, that was quite a loss, though, for Enli. Uh, that definitely took away a lot of their momentum. Yeah, a little bit of wind. can't just be super safe mid now. Yeah, getting knocked back a little bit. And tier 2 neutral items. Bullwhip for TB. So I guess he didn't have particularly good choices. I think the, the carry players love it because they're just running from camp to camp and just whipping non-stop, you know? Because, like, if you think about Light Collector was the highest win rate neutral item with its 10% movement speed, you know? Yeah. Now it's down to 5%. You can use a bull whip from camp to camp. It's pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's true. And TB does have mana problems as well. You spam out illusions without really caring. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It, like, in my head, bull whip is not something TB was, like, striving for. But <laughs> where's that specialist array? That's all, that's all you need. That's true. Radiant are scanning. Oh, the pupil's gift, Vambrace. Yeah, I don't know. What happened there? Someone accidentally double scanned, it looks like. Whoops. Or they just both happened to scan at the same Dyer's time, both supports. So they, they burn both their scans there as they go to get their own Wisdom Rune. Well, they've been burnt before, right? Wisdom Runes have been stolen previously, so they're like, guys, can't let this happen. Bane and Monkey King both doing some, some sneaky stuff. Tops with his fresh Aghanims as well as hungry for a fight right now. We'd love to get involved. BKB is there for the puck, though. As they were trying to trace DM's movements, that high ground observer ward spotted the centaur, but they couldn't close in on him fast enough. 
It looks worth like noting too that he didn't have BKB for that fight in the river, right? Like he was still working on it at the time. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And He's that that is really the cost of what he did. Because that's an expensive item and he missed that like second item on Puck. So he needs Nine. to win this fight with the BKB for this to be worth it. Well, Entity were kind of eyeing up tops in mid, thinking that they could go and get a fight here. No one is gonna turn and battle back. Toby's arrived and Kato oh, nice looks face. like the target, but a static storm zoning out Watson and Fishman. Wukong's command is down from the Monkey King. Oh, the Nightmare dodging the concoction gets Katomi away from danger. And now it's Tundra running back away from this fight after losing Thompson. They don't want to continue. Yeah, I mean, that was a good use of the BKB because uh, that's the eggs on the the Void Spirit. So it's really hard for no one to deal with that. He doesn't have a Dispel. And even if you have a single Dispel, like a Yules or something, you're just going to get caught up again. So that, it, certainly showing why the BKB was a value. But it's it's very risky to go second item BKB on Puck because it just it feels so bad if you don't get the fights and it's such an expensive item and you you know you could have had a blink before or like the maelstrom builds or something and pretty much anything else so BKB only works if you're winning fights because of it and even if it's just a small pick on Thompson like that it does at least get them some of their map space back so uh, and now he's into the blink so a little bit more offensive capabilities here too. Yeah, and I guess both of the items kind of go in tandem as well. Like you're investing into team fights with both of these items. Kind of similar to the discussion around Centaur going for the blade mail first. You know, you're not uh, not investing too early in that initiation. You're going blade mail to farm, get built up, and then you go for the blink afterwards. Thompson investigating the twin gate here as his allies do Roche, but they will get scanned because of it. So Dyer know they're Roaching. Not really in a position to stop it though, it looks like. No, no BKB on Puck. I mean, what's TB got now? Building towards BKB. Has the Scotty. Yeah, not, not really up for it. Would rather just get some farm themselves. I'm guessing we're just giving this to Pure. Uh, yeah, presumably. I could see them maybe giving it to Thompson, but he's not there for it. So yeah, they decided let's Pure. No one still has a DD rune ticking. Pure gonna turn off his radiance and then turn it back on. Radiance Interesting. There's a stampede out of the bottom lane. Oh, wow, he actually gets caught. No one. I'm gonna snap it on Topson. Looks like he's already broken free though. This puck keeps giving chase. Long range reinitiation oh, looking at White Monster Disruptor. Very, very dangerous territory for no one. BKB is expiring. He, he wanted to get some use out of that DD rune. It's expiring now, along with his BKB. And no harm, no foul in the end, I guess. Just a, a BKB charge to strike fear into the heart of your opponents. I suppose so. He did bring a lot of heroes down there. Uh, Pure wasn't convinced, though. So he's just going to start beating into the mid tower. Has a haste rune up above him to grab on the way out as well. Feeling kind of fearless here with four minutes left on his Aegis. Fortunately, he went south, though, so maybe he won't get a haste rune. So is this just a, like a tier two Aegis? You go and take the towers? You're not pushing high ground, right? No, I wouldn't think so. I think this is just a, like, let's get our Alc 6 slotted Aegis. Because like, remember how far behind Pure was. Like, this was a pretty bad start for him. I mean, there's still 5k down, but it doesn't really feel like it. Part of the reason why it doesn't necessarily feel like it is because if they get into these team fights, the like Thompson is still pretty powerful because there's only the BKB uh, on the puck, but mm. it's almost never the TB. Yeah, I mean, what five minutes ago, Pure was dead even with the Terrorblade in net worth. Now he's got what four thousand, a bit of a gap. So in a much better spot. He's smoking up with his squad now, out of the Dire Triangle. Across mid, where Toby is shoving wave. Entity fellas, they see DP, and then DP disappears off of the mid lane. Oh, where's she gone? Where are they headed? The lines drawn pretty much identical from both teams. The question's just going to be, do Entity have these stragglers that get caught out? And DM says no. I'm going to blink away. Concoction's going to clip him. And the glimpse. Vision given by that out chasing forward. TP, though. Hang on, DM nice. allowed to escape. Very, very nifty stuff out of him. While Tops in a nine class, they're hunting for the Bane. That's an easy target, so they do get a pick on someone at the very least. That long sweeping move, though, getting a kill on a pos five feels a little sad. And where is no one immediately? You know, down bottom, pushing out the wave, farming some cabs. 
They do not want to fight. Illusion's hitting the mid-wave. They have no desire. I mean, we said it coming into this game that it looked like Enemy were not going to be trying to value too much, but then they had a really good laning stage, better than I expected. Yeah. And now that makes it even more likely that uh, they will get to that late game that they were hoping for for Watson. His BKB is finally finished and flown out here past the dragon on that Ancient. I feel like every pro team has the dragon. I don't think I've tuned into a game without the dragon being there. Yeah, I don't have it, but everyone else seems to. I guess you that's just need one, we only need we, one person with it, so it's fine. One out of five, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> just share that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think this is where Entity have the options. They have the choices of whether they want to do that map splitting, you know, flip the map and play behind enemy towers, or if they go for moves like this where they are smoking together and wrapping around. Having known that Tundra were here and clearing tier two, potentially someone's farming one that medium camp at like half HP. Nah, there's no, there's no one there, sadly. Yeah, it was almost a good read, but Entity uh, have also been doing their reading homework, so they're gonna get out of there ten minutes every night. And so, uh, is that all? <laughs> yeah, that ten, is all. Ten, ten minutes. <laughs> well, you know, you know, my kid has to read ten minutes. We read to them too, but they have to read themselves for ten minutes every night. Okay. He's only six. Okay. <laughs> He's getting there. Under attack. I mean, for a Dota player, for a for an, an esports gamer, ten minutes is like I don't know a page and a half or something. You're not going to get much information out of that. <laughs> Mr. Alchemist, Abyssal Blade, very close. Oh, tier three neutral item time. Oh, well, that's good. Blown up. Defiant shell. Defiant shell. Alchemist and Void Spirit both picking up. Oh, oh, oh no one. Ooh. Nearly just straight up dies to Thompson. And chucks the coil at him. Snapped and DM yeah, not gonna follow through on this. It's a full HP void spirit that you can't get on. I think no one there, you know, feeling the pain, realizing how much of a threat, like you were saying a couple of minutes ago, how much of a threat Thompson can be. Yeah, not very fun. I mean he now has gotten those bigger items though. He has his maelstrom. He's going to get himself into the Ags. He also has the Nemesis Curse, so the big damage on the right clicks at a cost. Cloak of Flames for DM. That's really nice, actually. Some nice, consistent damage in these team fights as he's he's blade mailing, he's Cloak of Flamings. That's all going to add up. Ogre Seal Totem busted <laughs> item for White Mon. So helpful on a Disruptor, honestly. Support players, I mean, I'm sure any support players know, like, we love this item. This is the best item. It's crazy. Uh, like... Even without the active, it's just like 10 strength. Hell yeah. <laughs> DM, a nice nightmare there. Buys him a second of time, but Thompson's showing up on the scene of the crime. But Watson metamorphosis wanting to fight this. DP loses half her HP, but a good scepter. Oh yeah, pure all gripped up. So Banner much. strike silenced. Now, they're trying to charge forward with a stampede. Pure concoction channeled up and onto the Monkey King. Pure is back in and wailing away at Kataomi. Watson and Fishman trying to back up now as DM's Bought back, returns and stomps onto this disruptor. No one will clear him out. The coil snaps on DP, and the chase is on towards Toby. The ghost at the TP not gonna pay off. Fishman there with a final touch of damage. Three for one, or I guess three for two with the buyback of Centaur. Pretty good for Entity to push back and force Tundra away from their side of the map. That was definitely worth it on the buyback. Like, it, it kind of sucks for Centaur, but the team needed it, and it helps boost the XP of everyone, including himself. Like, he came back in and got 760 XP. You'll take that. You're just paying some gold for some more XP and your team getting the map back, like you said. Uh, it, you would expect the longer fights to do better for Tundra in a lot of ways. But they, they managed to, just because of that second life on the Centaur, come back in pretty quickly and clean yeah. up enough kills that uh, it actually ends up being beneficial for them. Like, that was an exorcism fight. That was an Alk getting a, a second chance in there when he came back and just blew up uh, Kataomi, but they still get the win, even if it was ever so slightly inside Entity. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like the goal here is just to ignore TB completely. A kill monkey, kill Bane, Centaur, Puck, whoever it is, they show, we go on them. If TB shows, yeah, just ignore him. Don't I let, they don't let him fight. sunder anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that fight was over when they gripped Alk and were right-clicking him non-stop with the TB and it just did nothing. I was like, uh oh, that's a lot of resources to basically yeah. be super unsuccessful. And then he like blinks back in and kills Kataomi, but the buyback really helped change that. 
Can only setting up here. Just have the Yules if they want to try and go for something. Could set up for a potential coil here, but a lot of allies nearby for both teams. All right, Toby backed up by Thompson, who has a gem on this Void Spirit. Try and see if there's any dire vision down here. There's one deep behind Radiant Tier Two. Other than that, neither. Yeah, neither. Oh no, hang on. There's fresh observer ward placed on the twin gate. So Dyer have some vision, Radiant do not. Tundra going blind up here. Doesn't clip. Say, uh, unusually, Nine Class struggling a lot this game. Nice get out there with the phase shift. Unfortunately, Bane gives away his positioning, so he's going to die for this. Yeah, they've got the gem to see him. Pure can whack away at him, and no buyback here for the Bane, meaning oh, that no the park. one. Oh, no one gets the BKB off. Can we jump away with a Wedding Rift and a Jaunt? The Abyssal Blade, the Stun. Now Jaunt's away to the high ground. Still silence. The Stampede is required. Blink's away. Any more catch? There's like illusions. The stuff on the floor. No, no heroes get caught. But Roshan is going to be your next big objective here as Tundra. Get a kill. They basically kill Puck so no one has to go back to Fountain. And that gives them all of this opportunity to Rosh. Two banners in one series, Trent. <laughs> I, I know. We're so fortunate here. We're eating Thompson. tonight. Thompson walks past a very suspicious looking tree. Uh, but then Kenomi TP's out. And they are running back down here. They are getting here in time. They are out of the pit. Okay. And Exorcism's ending. Oh, nine class. That's huge. <laughs> bye bye, no one. Do you want to still fight this as Entity with a Grip and a Wukongs? They're out here with TV's BKB. Go set from Toby, though, and Pure just tanking through all the hits. He's now down to half health, though, and the BKB's starting to wear out. So gets away from DM Centaur. Static Storm's dropped. Watson and DM inside. Toby trying to poke from the right. Count Omi and Pure return back in. The Glimmer Cape, the save, the Sunder. Where is it? Toss up, land down with a third and a bang. They got the TB. He's dead. DM in trouble now, too, as Pure can get the job done. Cat's Omi chased by Thompson. The tip's in the middle of the fight. You're meant to be casting spells, killing heroes. You're tipping your opponents, all chatting, rubbing salt in the wound, and a double kill for Pure. Oh, they bailed into that Roche at the perfect time. Just recognizing that, hey, this doesn't look that good. And then the quick pick on the no one at the start. I mean, that, that was really what it was. It's funny, because right before that fight, I was thinking, Nightclass hasn't had a lot of good moves this game. Like, he, you know, the game was a little bit slow to start, so which is always bad for a Tiny, because they need that blink for things to work out well. So when the laning stage doesn't go go that well for your team, it can feel kind of rough, but that was the, the grab that makes this all pay off. Setting up for a Thompson to just blow up no one, this was the BKB puck that doesn't get to be in the most pivotal fight of the game. And that's going to give them this bottom lane. And potentially this game here for Tundra. Because like, they're going to go right back, grab the Aegis after this. They're probably going to lose this tier 2 mid as well. These nine classes is lurking, hoping that someone... Hoping that Puck comes out to clear this. And th but this no is off the back. top instead. Yeah, that, that's off the back of that Centaur buying back in the fight prior, right? He's still dead yeah. for another 30 seconds. So they know there's a clock here where they can just go get all the outer towers. Oh. And now they're going to run up top, get Vision oh. down, and then get the Roche when it goes there. Oh, no one. Can you BKB and weasel your way out of this? Nine class avalanche toss into remnant and disappears. <laughs> Didn't oh, even get to land. This rune. Fly away, little birdie. Fly away, Puck. No, nah, get shot down. Absolutely Yikes. disgusting. And he only has three deaths this game, by the way, on no one. And all three are in the last five minutes, <laughs> basically. <laughs> And there, uh, he said banner. Uh, no, we will in fact get a cheese. <laughs> Back to normality. Certainly what you would prefer here uh, on the side of Tundra. No banner required here. Putting a cheese on an Alk or a, a DP feels great. Yeah, I've got to say, Pure has hit his stride, right? After a sh not necessarily a shaky individual performance, but a shaky game. You know, the terrain underneath him wasn't too solid or stable. First 20 minutes was kind of hard. The next 15 minutes from 20 to 35 has been the pure show. Alchemist is ready. He is he's basically six slotted at this point. And so far there has not appeared to be an answer for him. Maybe TB with his Daedalus MKB? Maybe? <laughs> That's a little distant. Hmm. 
Well, no one is going to get a nice juicy wave top at least. Very close to Aghanim Scepter, which is a big game changer for this park. Yeah, that's certainly the next big step up that they have in this one. If there's anything that's going to help them win one of these fights, it's that. And it's the BKB for uh, DM, which is also really close too. So they will have some big advantages coming in the next engagement, but they are obviously quite far behind. You know, there's also 3,000 gold just sitting on Pierce Alchemist right now. Who already has a swift blink and this abyssal blade so it's very easy to just win a fight off of a single jump yeah it's, it's that single jump right it's kind of crazy how sometimes in dota we have this you know, draft or the scenario where a game can literally be won by like a pixel of vision right if you're if you're observable yeah. like this radiant observable on, on, on that level yeah, yeah exactly. exactly you can maybe see them coming but topson doesn't see the smoke arriving void Ooh, spirit dies that... try to disengage in a nightmare and on the tiny Gonna get them another kill here. Entity picking a up a couple with a gem on the deck. Big victories here for the Dire that, Squad. That was both of their gems. They got the two gem heroes. Oh. Ooh, yeah, three victories. Four victories. Gems. Huge. Yeah, Centaur now gets to go around a D ward. That's, that's nice. And they're gonna send one back to the base to hopefully not make the same mistake that Tundra just did. Like King's Courier is gonna pick it up and take it on home. Oh, that, that's such an important grab again. And they were feeling confident, I'm sure, partially because of that ward that you were just talking about in that bottom lane, but they had just smoked through it. So a bit of a false hope here, perhaps, for Tundra as they moved in aggressively. And they get the best possible hero first in Tundra, um, Tundra's Thompson, because, you know, obviously he has no BKB. He's relying yeah. on this Octarine core and silence and stuff and just not able to get the saves there in time. I guess, fortunately for Tundra, they were on the doorstep of the enemy. So yeah. no, real, no, no real high ground push or anything. Just wasted ages time. Yeah, exactly. So what is that going to be? About two minutes left for Pure to try and utilize once Topson's Void Spirit's back alive. But it's also time for MKB to arrive on this TB and Tier 4 items to come out. And all of that gold that we're talking about on Pure, you can see he's committing in for the refresher. So he's already bought the recipe. Hmm. That'll be his plan. Yeah, I mean, with the... The duration of these fights, you know, extending past a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes even. Having Chemical Rage going that entire time is a big deal. Oh, yeah. Okay, double BKB, double Abyssal, nice. But I think double Chemical Rage, that's the... Yeah. That's I mean, the... you gotta have it. The other thing is that um, they can't rely on getting those kills on Thompson because there is a Wind Waker on 9 class. So, uh, the saves are certainly prepped. That in combination with just even the Glimmer there uh, from White Mon too. So, I'm not expecting that to happen again so easily. Mjolnir next for no one here. Also getting close as they take down that Tormentor. That'll be for a Fishman, so slightly better Brain Saps there. A little bit of AoE. Nine class. Hiding in the shadows. And Monkey King. <laughs> uh, okay. No, we can't. He's not allowed to escape from this. Get down from the trees, cheeky fella. Now that ward probably going to get taken down. Now they just planted up there and destroyed some dire wards. I'm, I'm curious now. So, you know when you're cooking something and you have a pot on the stove that has sauce in it? What what do you call that? What? The, 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 what the you, utensil. What like a pot, like it's a, it's a, it's a sauce something or a frying a something. Pan. So you say sauce pan. Interesting. Yeah. So you say fish man and sauce pan. I say fishman and saucepan. Saucepan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just realized that's how we All say right, it. Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> oh my god. That's a callback. <laughs> Freaking Zayori making fun of me for saying Bernard instead of Bernard. <laughs> Leonard? Leonard Bernard? God, you North Americans are so funny. If it was Fishman, it'd be M-E-N. Fishman? Fishman. No, it's, it's Fishman. No, that'd be M-E-N. That'd be Fishman. It's Fishman. Fire, fireman. Fishman. Fire, fireman. Policeman. Fishman. Saucepan. What, 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 what do you want from... Fireman. You do you say po policeman. Oh, man. man. How, many, how many vowels have you got in ma man? <laughs> oh, Topson. Oh, Park. No one tossed up. Half HP. 
XP has BKB. Now we go back in with the coil on the tiny. Pure starts to open up on the centaur, but the Wukong's command in the grip. Pure is dying. The damage for this MKB. Daedalus TB. Too much to handle. And now we move on to the Death Prophet as well. The Ghost Scepter's there, but it's not going to buy enough time for Toby. The rest of Tundra on the run to try and escape because no one and Watson. Tremendous damage output. I mean, I said the best target to get was Thompson because I just didn't think the Alchemist was realistic. Uh, obviously, I was wrong. I was not familiar with their game here, but you were right. The big damage output, the, the boost of Daedalus MKB, kind of disgusting here as uh, Terrorblade almost da out damaged the entirety of Tundra in that one fight. Everybody just getting their spells off on the side of, uh, of Enli and unfortunately, pretty much the opposite on the side of Tundra. Like, Nine Class got locked down right away, had to Wind Waker his way out of a coil, not able to get anything else going. And now they're coming straight to your high ground with no buybacks here. This is at least one lane. Yeah. It's a TB though, so it could easily be more. Still no BKB here for Thompson either. I, I, I now wonder if the game has flipped where it's gone from we cannot initiate on TB to we must initiate on TB. They're trying with a toss back. Trying to send Watson deeper into the Radiant base. Wind Waker. A bit of space. Oh, the stack storm. Four inside. The combo. Is it coming? Anything else to dump on top? Watson's low, the puck jaunts away to the orb to safety. And everyone's so close oh, to oh, death and glimpse. Up. Who's this? Who is the Terror Blade? Terra Blade tossed up. Avalanche. Oh, the Manta, not enough to save him. <laughs> Dead to Toby. And now with Topson ready to chase, another Astral <laughs> Step is available to simulate over towards the Bane and the Puck. But Bane is Yules. Puck being caught by Topson, but the coil, that's going to hold him in place and allow no one to escape. Puck is out of there. Bane is somehow still alive. Whiteman is battling with him on the far left-hand side. <laughs> Toby wait, will wait, join wait, they're in. They're chasing, they're chasing. They got there. No one? Oh, you're right. Pure is there. Beautifully lined up. Now, no TB, no Pug. Oh, you do have buyback on Watson. But if they lose any more heroes, like Cat Omi's Monkey King, maybe this DM Centaur as Thompson eyes another prize. Invis out of them. Tricks the cloak. DM misses the stomp, though. And Fisherman's dead to a white mon. They continued that fight for long enough. They got the kill in the end. Wild stuff. Yeah. The, all off of a glimpse. You know, it's that easy, yes. apparently. Yeah. One glimpse one of those and I'm Disruptor just does something that no one else can do. And now Monkey King getting chucked around. Nine classes finally... Finally got in here with some good moves. Bane inside the Static Storm. The two supports. That's a Stampede helps the Monkey King get out of there. Bane, though, is dead as Pure has helped kill off three members of Entity who have no buyback. And the second lane of Barracks basically offering itself here now to Tundra. Watson is nearby here. Cloaked up, thinking, what can I do here? I've got the big damage, but... Am I going to sacrifice myself here? you got to wait these 15 seconds for Puck. Yeah, this lane is going down. But the fight's going to happen for the third. Yeah, it's just you Everything's can't ready here on the Radiant. There's no Static Storm, though. That's the big one. The Toss. The TB. Abyssal Blade. Chain Stun. The third of his HP. The BKB. The damage of the Bashes comes in onto Watson. Nobody. He gets taken down. Two minutes and GG's called. Tundra, Tundra, Tundra. Just like that. 2-0 victory over Entity. Oh some gorgeous plays to wrap it all up as well <laughs> that, was, that was straight up shocking honestly the fake comeback the hype is real <laughs> what man okay so glimpse and toss do we want to have a talk about